Uh, Killer, when did you start uh, lifting weight? I started back in the 80s, early 80s, uh, with Joe Quinn and uh, worked with the Rockville Barbell Club. And we also had a World of Fitness powerlifting team, Gene Parrish, Doug, Dave Sumwall, guys like that, back in the 80s. And uh, during that time, when you were lifting weight, uh, were you uh, into any other uh, sports or professional sports? Yeah, I did some pro wrestling. I wrestled Johnny B. Good, and I wrestled the Rock Roll Connection. Um, I did that for like uh, up to 2004. And, and you held several belts uh, in the in, when you were pro wrestling. That's correct. I held the ACW uh, World Belt with uh, Scotty Piper. Also had the uh, ACW belt. I beat at uh, American Championship Wrestling. Mm -hmm. I worked for ICW. I uh, worked with Jeff Hardy and the Hardy Boys. Uh, Visser. I uh, worked with Uncle Ivan Koloff, uh, Paul James, just a lot of the old school guys. But I wrestled up to 2004. Now you also ha you also wrestled. Uh, who was that uh, that you wrestled with? Uh, that you had that headdress in your your home gym. That's Wahoo McDaniels. Wahoo gave that to me right before he passed away up in Pembroke, North Carolina. The Lumbee Indians had uh, donated a headdress, and he he gave me his old headdress. And, and I had several matches. I also worked as a heel, which is a bad guy. I also worked uh, as an executioner. I worked a lot of matches with Wahoo. And also, Jay Eagle, that actually lives up in uh, Chess and Jerry Bragg. I worked a lot around up in his area. Matter of fact, we worked Wahoo and uh, Jerry up in that area. He worked as Jay Eagle up around Chess in South Carolina. So. And, you, and you had several uh, matches with uh, one of the wrestlers that I knew uh, growing up as uh, the Barbarian. Right, that's correct. The Barb, we call him the Barb. Uh, he, uh, the Barbarian. Uh, he was also an ex powerlifter. He uh, said the most he's ever done was uh, 725 uh, with a single fly, and that was back in the early 80s. That's when he was in the powerlifting. I also worked in the bar for several shows too with ACW. He did a lot of TV with us. So. so, when did you really start competitive in powerlifting? I started, like I said, uh, when I met you, Air Cubs. Uh, I kind of got out of it because I was wrestling pretty heavy every weekend. and. When you pound yourself like that on the mat, it's hard to actually get into pilot because you're, you're not as strong. And uh, plus the technology with the shirts and everything. Because back then all we had was a tight T-shirt insert. You know, it's like a last shirt. Right. So, uh, what organizations have you lifted in? I've uh, uh, Scott Taylor, the APA, and also the APF. Uh, you know, and I uh, went to the world's uh, world pilot meets and WPC back in 2006, and I got a set a third bronze. Mm -hmm. So we went to the world back in 2008 up in uh, down in Florida. Me and you went down. Yeah. My son Burton. Well, that that also was a uh, comeback for you because uh, when uh, you and I went up to uh, the world's in Lake George in 2006, you didn't really know that you were really injured until you got back. Right. Uh, Explain that. A if you bit. can, if you can see that, if you can see that little that little dimple. <laughs> But I hear this little star. Uh, back in 2006, I was training. I went to the Nationals up in Portland, Maine, me and you. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric Hubs went to the Nationals, and uh, I placed second up there. And I had a 470 bench. Well, in 2006, when I went from May to the uh, Worlds, the PC Worlds in Albany, New York, Lake George, New York, my bench went from 470 down to 418. And uh, we knew something was wrong because my lockouts weren't consistent. It was really wobbly. You know, my left side was lagging. But I had neck surgery back in 2006. Seven, and uh, they uh, went in in a uh, few five, six, and seven. They were actually growing together, and I had a pinched nerve on my left side. That's why my lockouts were consistent, and also, uh, you know, I lost an inch and a half on my left, on my left side. So you were experiencing quite a bit of atrophy in your, oh, in your arm. Atrophy, yeah. Uh, Paul Orndorff, uh, one of the guys that I've worked with, not a lot, but he he didn't have surgery. If you look at Paul now, his right side is like. It's like his, his whole arm probably might be six inches from here down. And they told me if I didn't get it fixed, it was going to get worse. So I went ahead and had that back in 2007, June uh, 6th of 2007. Now, what is your current goal? I mean, you and I went down to the WPC Worlds, and, uh, you know, after a two-year layoff uh, and, and, you know, some really slow process to get back to uh, lifting heavy weight under doctor's orders, uh, you went down and uh, what, what, what did you accomplish after two years of being off and uh, having your neck fused in place in C5, 6, and 7? Well, Dr. Steve DeHip at Presbyterian actually did my surgery and he started, I was, I was doing, uh, I, I thought I was doing pretty decent, but uh, he started me off at 50 pounds and I had to start over 50 pounds two years ago and I was doing 50 pounds three sets of 10. And my goal was just to get back into it because I really enjoy powerlifting. It's like a stress Since I don't wrestle anymore, it's like, uh, you know, I really missed it. And I uh, missed the camaraderie with the guys and just wrestling. 
but uh, my goals were to actually get back and go to a national meet, but Amy Jackson sent me an invitation this past year, and I actually got to go to WP Sydney and actually did pretty good. I got a silver, got second, ended up with 435.9 pounds, and that was pretty good considering And that's from what off. age group? That was Masters, uh, 44 to, uh, you know, the Masters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one of those old parts, just like me and well, like, uh, Rodney. I'd like to thank uh, Kenny Malco. He, he helped me out a lot. And also, you guys helped me a lot, but I changed my schedule on Tuesday. Kenny Malco really helped me out a lot for working with me on Tuesday because you guys train on Friday right, night right, and I do right. Tuesday. So Kenny's really helped me out a lot. He helped me with my, my sets of three and helped me get my uh, strength back. And, uh, you know, Kenny, we had a plan. We sat down and actually had a plan what we were going to do when I went to DPC. So right. he helped me out tremendously and I, I, I owe him a lot. So. And uh, what, what is your current goal for you know next year uh, when uh, when we get back on the uh, on the schedule again and uh, hitting the hitting the nationals in the world? Well my, my goal is to be five and a quarter. That's my goal. Uh, you know I've done five hundred in the gym but it wasn't you know legal but my goal is to do five hundred and get back and I'll be in uh, uh, Masters one but, uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to hit 500, 5 and a quarter. And I've got a new katana I got from Ken Anderson. And, uh, you know, I'm going to hit 500, 525 in an actual meet. And with your increases, what has really helped you uh, in getting the increases in your bench? Uh, was it technique? Was it, uh, you know, any training that you were doing? Was it a combination of both to get back to, uh, you know, what you were doing in 2006 when you went up to Lake George? I mean, it was only, we're only talking a year. I mean, you had to do something there. Well, basically, what I did is I just went back to the gym. I went old school and just started doing my full day routine and uh, get my three sets of three in and trying to break in my shirt. I have, have a rage hex I'm using right now. It's two years old, and that did, that did, did good luck for me. But uh, just doing my shoulders back and just being consistent with my training. Mm -hmm. I'm, like I said, mastered with 242s, but four presses, dumbbell presses. One on dumbbell presses, I hit the tries pretty hard, and just staying consistent. I think that's the key to anything. If you stay consistent at what you're doing, your goals will come. You just have to set them. You don't want to set them too high, but you want to set them, you know, that's what I do. And, and you also, you know, you and I, when we were up there uh, in Lake George, we talked to uh, um, Sebastian Burns quite a bit when we were up at Lake George, and uh, he got us uh, hooked on uh, the metal militia style of setup. Did your setup have to change uh, drastically because of your neck uh, in regards to the pressure that it was putting on uh, your neck uh, with that setup that uh, you know, Sebastian showed us, that Jay and myself and you, know, and you are using right now? Yeah, the Sebastian Burns, that was the best DVD I've ever bought as far as my setup. My setup was pretty consistent, but it wasn't consistent. I can't really tuck my neck and I can't really look up, so my neck doesn't get tough like, it, like I want to, but that Sebastian Burns, it really helped me out a lot. And uh, the technique, as far as the setup, uh, there's some things I can do with my neck. Some things I can't. I can't do. Uh, I can't do uh, shrugs, heavy shrugs. So I have to do. I do a breakdown of 120s down to 60s, and I do sets of three, and that's mm -hmm. 10 sets all together. But uh, uh, yeah, the metal militia helped me out a lot. The setup and getting my feet. And then if you get your weight, Sebastian Burns is tall. If you can get your feet at a 45 degree angle, there's no way your butt can come up. Right. And uh, Sebastian really helps out a lot. I studied that tape, and you can go to his website, SebastianBurnsMetalMilitia.com, and get your copy. Yeah. So. Is there anything else you'd like to say uh, before we end our uh, interview? No, just thanks for having me. Enjoyed it. And see you guys at the gym. And see you guys hopefully at uh, some meets. And, uh, and uh, like I said, I've got some beanies I'm selling. They're powerlifting. Uh, they're $12. I've got uh, silver, uh, black, and royal blue. You guys want something? Just get a hold of Eric or me. And uh, just go to the Chesney website. And, uh, appreciate you having me. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Okay, Killer, there's a couple things you want to add in here. Go ahead. I'd also like to thank uh, Rock Hill Fitness, which is old gold. That's where we train at. I train up there four days a week. And I'd like to thank Kathy and Larry. They sponsored me on some shows and uh, just thank uh, Joy the Gym. I'd also like to thank uh, uh, Rock Hill Nutrition, which is Steve over here off uh, Herlong. That's where we get our supplements from. He's helped us out a lot. And also Jeff Maxwell at uh, South Carolina. Uh, Physical medicine rehab over there on Herlong also. He's helping us. My chiropractor and you know, Doc keeps Jeff Maxley keeps me pretty straight. I get about three days a week for adjustments and all the other guys is actually sponsored me and uh, appreciate everybody. Thanks.